Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next live attack video, and this is on a Town Hall 10 base. As you guys can see here, um, it's a random matchup against Sheldon Massive. I believe they're in CWL um, Rising or Light. I'm not sure which one. They're in a CWL league. They're a good clan. We lost an arranged war against them a few weeks ago. Um, so we're looking to get some good practice in between CWL weeks. And uh, yeah, war's going pretty good for us right now. Um, we have a 10v10 already, which is nice. Trying to get another one here. Um, you might hear some very faint background music. I'll turn it up once I attack. I'm going to keep it pretty low for now. So um, just so I can explain my plan and everything. So here's the idea, guys. We're going to start off, and let me just first say, the base was scouted. I'll tell you guys, it's a small CC, so we got Baby Dragon, um, Witch, Wizard, that kind of stuff in the CC. So a small CC, not a Lava Hound, not a Golem. Uh, in terms of where the traps and the Teslas are, we got a Tesla here, a Tesla, I'll draw as a T. We got, um, oops, a Tesla here, a Tesla in here, Tesla over here, and a Tesla back here. The giant bombs are going to be, um, we know three of them those three locations i'm assuming there's going to be two just like that uh, but we don't know for sure about those two assuming they're by the inferno so at first i was going to do a hog attack try to queen charge an inferno um hog part of the base do a kill squad but i think i can just take it out much easier because look at the base and look carefully there you guys can see it has um four wizard towers all on that line plus the bomb towers as well so there's no splash damage on the outside of this base save the mortars and my plan is pretty simple i think i can just drop down um a wizard here to start creating a funnel a wizard up here then three witches three witches uh maybe even a little bit higher up maybe like three witches three witches uh, two to three bowlers with each one, maybe maybe even three bowlers with each, or two bowlers and a wizard. We'll see how it goes. Um, but just uh, witches and some DPS with them, and then golem here, golem here, jump right on here to open up that little T. I'm not going to open up anything besides those three compartments right there, and i um, going to drop... Uh, my bowlers, CC bowlers, heroes, and just kind of go hard at this base um, with a big bowler kill squad. Not expecting any witches to go inside the base. 10% battery, okay? Should be fine. Let's hope it's fine. Um, not expecting anything to go inside the base, uh, or any witches to go inside the base. Just using those six witches, three on each side. Uh, I'm going to rage up right here. I'm going to heal, especially if giant bombs start going off, I'll drop that heal even farther out. And then they shouldn't encounter a whole lot of damage in the core, at least uh, no giant bombs really, because my next jump is going to just be right here. So if I can get rid of some of this stuff, my next jump is going to be right here. So I'm not going to open up anything besides the next two compartments, keep everything together. That's the idea, keep them together, and then rage one more time here. Because it's a small CC, um... My queen should get this inferno. I have two poisons. I'll poison here. I'll poison here. Just get the heroes and the CC and those poisons. And then we'll hope everything meets up around here. I have one baby dragon to try to take out maybe like a cannon or whatever's left up. But for the most part, that's the plan. I almost never do this type of attack, but I was planning. I was going to do another hog attack. Let me get rid of this here. Um, I was going to do another hog attack, and then I just thought, you know what? I don't think I... I need to. I don't think that's the right play here. Um, I think just a more simple attack can get the job done. So making sure I have everything. I have some archers for the corner huts. Um, 12 bowlers. Yeah, I'll drop two bowlers and a wizard with each of those groups of witches. Then I'll drop my golems. Then I'll um, start in with the, th the stuff behind the golems. Maybe need a few wizards on that one side to funnel. Uh, make sure everything goes in. Heal rages, jumps, poisons, um, pretty straightforward attack to be honest, much more straightforward than I'm used to. Let's go ahead and see the base here, number 15, was scouted for a queen walk hog attack, not going to do it, um, and let's see if I'm rewarded for that. Oh, let me wait here, get this on, do not disturb, that's pretty important guys, don't want to be disturbed while I attack. Um, 
Hopefully it's not a little bit too laggy. It's definitely not as laggy as the streams, although it's not as clear as my um, typical video uploads are. It's kind of in between um, when I do the live attacks, which is kind of interesting. So uh, CC will come out right as they get to that Inferno Tower. I'll poison at that point, and um, everything's looking good. Last time, just going to start off with a wizard right around between these two. A wizard over here. That's just to help break the funnel for the witches, basically. And then my golems um, stuff behind. I'm going to go a little bit heavier on wizards right here. Because that's the only place I'm a little bit worried about my troops walking on me. Um, yeah, let's see. I could probably even drop the, the witches on that dark barracks. And drop the witches over here on like this barracks don't want to drop them too far away and have them kind of like go in then out that'd be kind of awkward so i'll drop them oh yeah i'll drop them like right here i'll drop them close enough that uh yeah that should be fine wizard here drop the witches okay not going to overthink it too much it's a pretty simple plan um let's go ahead and give this a try okay Heroes, bowlers, witches. Oh, almost forgot the music. Let's get it hyped. Here we go. Hopefully that's not going to drown out what I'm saying. I Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Um, all right. Everything looks good. Let's do this. All right, gonna start off with the wizards in the, we'll put a wizard on the hut and a wizard, yeah, just to keep the witches kind of close to the base. Okay, we'll go wizard, wizard, let it kill the giant there. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, wizard. Golem, golem, queen, bowler, 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 bowler. More wizard here. CC king, one, two, three. Jump. Get this rage ready, get the poisons. Heal. Next jump. King's ability. Everything's looking okay so far. Come on, everybody. What's the queen doing? What is the queen doing? Okay, what do I have? This one's not over yet. Got a golem out tanking. If the queen goes for that inferno, mm, that's not the best wall to shoot. When am I going to use this baby? Queen will step up for that wizard tower. Going to drop another wizard out here. Plenty of time, it looks like. Need the queen to do something smart. That's a good queen. Go for that inferno. Go for that inferno. Going to get this baby ready. Um, going to use the baby right here. Alright, keep an eye on the queen's ability. You need that witch to stay up. You need something to regenerate. Witch, stay up. This one might go for a triple, guys. It depends on what the queen does. Let's drop in another archer or two to help tank. Come on, witch, stay up. You need that wizard, too. Oh, the wizard died. Alright, the queen's going to go through the wall here. I have an archer for that corner builder hut. That's where I'm going to have to use it. Uh, I'm going to have to pop the queen. Yeah, pop the queen. Oh, giant bombs. Is that archer tower going to reach my queen? Oh, no. Yeah, I don't think this one's going to fly, guys. Oh, we got something over there. Okay. Let's put an archer there. No way. I think the jump was late. That looks like an easy cleanup. I don't know. Whatever happened, the stuff over here died. Nothing got over around the outside of the base. The witches that went the other way went around the entire base. This is going to be like 96%. One star. Uh, pretty easy cleanup in my opinion. <laughs> Man, almost had that. Almost had that. We'll take a look at the replay. There's so much that I can't see. 
um, as this attack happens in real time. And um, that's too bad. 95%. Um, let's take a look at the replay here. Yeah, nice try. Um, the witches around this side went well as I thought they would. They should have gone pretty well around here. Maybe this cannon killed them as they rounded the corner. That might have been a little bit of an awkward situation with the cannons uh, right there. But we'll see. Here it goes. Starts right here. Okay, wizards go down. Um, I, I just All that trash just kind of gave me some, a little bit of anxiety, to be honest. Because um, you don't know what the witches are going to do. So I thought, alright, just drop a few wizards. Start getting some of that taken out. Um, there's two bowlers and one wizard with each of those groups, then sending in the golems. Um, let's pay a special attention to the group up here by this air defense, see exactly what it does, because everything else goes into the base pretty nicely. Not, not many bowlers even hit that giant bomb either, which I think was pretty nice, but right here, um, which way are they going to go? The skeletons go one way, and okay, the witches, yeah. They hit all that DPS, the kill squad's too far away to tank, that Tesla kills those witches. I think the main thing was the skeletons went inside the base and the witches went outside the base, which really sucked. Um, and they didn't respawn their skeletons because they were still alive inside the base with the kill squad. So that delayed like the skeleton spawning, um, just made it a really bad situation. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how it how it went. The, um, the queen did not take that jump, she went through the wall here. Um, which, I mean, it is what it is. If she had taken the jump, she probably still would have got fragged in front of these two archer towers. So maybe even better she didn't take the jump because um, in this compartment where the king's standing there, like all dead and everything, uh, these archer towers could take her out, but she can't reach them. So probably even better she didn't take the jump. The main thing that just ruined this attack, and it would have been a crushed if the witches went around this side of the base properly it would have crushed this base but um, a little bit awkward maybe I should have just done more funneling here and dropped the witches farther out like on this army camp but um, just too disconnected the point defense was a little bit too heavy typically it's the splash damage that will ruin your witches but the point defense in this case was enough to do it when those skeletons went back inside the base and the witches did not so that will do it. I'll fast forward to the end here so we can see this epic finish one more time. It's funny how one skeleton peeled off onto that uh, builder hut and got it taken out, and the giant pops up and kills it. Two shots the skeleton. That's the first time I've seen anything two shot a skeleton. Um, I thought I already had 5%. Or there was 10%. Now I'm down to 5%. So I guess that means it's a good time to wrap up this video. Um, the music's been just going off. Let me turn that down a little bit. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, didn't work out for me this time, but if you take a look at the war here, we got a 10v10 somewhere. Yeah, Black Ice already grabbed one and uh, getting, eh, yeah, not doing too well in the 11s, but I think our 10v11s are, um, need, a, need a little bit of, of a break from that last intense CWL war when we, we went so hard on those bases and went four for eight. Um, so I guess this is our time to kind of be a little bit unsuccessful and uh, get rid of some of those fails that we need to need to get rid of before the next CWL matchup. So enough rambling. That'll do it. Thank you guys for watching and let me know if you like these types of videos, what you think in the comments below. I'll be sure to check them out and I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.